Burger King is no stranger to controversy. The fast food chain has been subjected to a whole host of scandals over the years. So keep watching for some of the biggest scandals that Burger King will never be able to live down. In 2013, the British food industry was embroiled in a nationwide scandal after it was revealed that certain foods that were advertised as containing beef actually contained traces of horse meat. The source of the contamination was believed to be a supplier used by the Silvercrest Foods plant, an Irish meat factory. Silvercrest supplied meat to a number of different companies, including, as it turned out, Burger King. At the end of January 2013, the company revealed that some of its burgers had indeed been contaminated. According to Burger King, they took immediate action once the contamination was discovered. In a statement, the company explained, "...within the last 36 hours, we have established that Silvercrest used a small percentage of beef imported from a non-approved supplier in Poland. They promised to deliver 100% British and Irish beef patties and have not done so. This is a clear violation of our specifications, and we have terminated our relationship with them." You expect it to be 100% beef. They advertise it as 100% beef. It even says it on the box, but it's not what you're going to get. It's probably fair to say that the Big Mac is the undisputed top dog of the burger world. It's McDonald's ace in the hole, its finest and most enduring creation. So it's perhaps not that surprising that Burger King has tried to rip it off. Initially, the Double Supreme debuted back in 1993. However, it suffered through a difficult start, so it was rebranded as the Big King in 1996. It was discontinued shortly after, which isn't much of a surprise considering that you could get pretty much the exact same thing from the McDonald's down the street. But then the Big King returned to stores in 2013. It was practically identical to the Big Mac in composition. Three layers of bun, patties, cheese, onion, pickles, and a special sauce. But there was a difference in flavor. According to a review by Serious Eats, the Big King sauce was overwhelmingly sweet, while the patties tasted, quote, like fake smoke. And that wasn't the only pan. Publication after publication framed the Big King as a Big Mac ripoff. So it's fair to say that the Big King was far from a runaway success. In April 2012, a Burger King commercial starring legendary R&B singer Mary J. Blige leaked onto the internet. The ad featured Blige singing about Burger King's fried chicken wrap to the tune of her song Don't Mind. Alas, the spot attracted a heap of criticism for playing into African-American stereotypes, and Burger King immediately pulled it from the airwaves. The company quickly offered an apology to Blige in a statement saying, "...we would like to apologize to Mary J and all of her fans for airing an ad that was not final. We know how important Mary J is to her fans, and we are currently in the process of finalizing the commercial. We hope to have the final ad on the air soon." Blige herself then publicly opened up about the commercial during an appearance on Hot 97's Angie Martinez show. She admitted, "...oh my god, my heart dropped down to my stomach. I got this sweat and I said real calm, this too shall pass. But it just kept getting worse and worse and worse." And all I could see is Burger King and chicken and buffoonery, and I'm like, what the heck, what, what, what? And, wow. and it's all, and it just, it just broke my heart. Blige claimed that she had originally been told the ad would be part of a quote, fun and creative campaign but she argued that it was shot in an entirely different way than what she had expected. Another controversy arose from a 2017 Burger King ad campaign when the company released a commercial that, depending on whom you asked, was either deeply insidious or absolute genius. The ad featured a Burger King employee standing behind the counter who informed viewers that 15 seconds isn't enough to tell us about all the fresh ingredients in the Whopper. But then he presented a workaround. Okay, Google, what is the Whopper burger? The idea behind the campaign was that, upon hearing the ad, viewers' Google Home devices would then read out the Whopper's Wikipedia page. Aside from the fact that a commercial controlling a device inside someone's home is seriously creepy, problems arose for Burger King when it became clear that Google had not been consulted about the ad. Shortly after it was released, Google inserted a block into their software that prevented the commercial from working. Then again, it wasn't all bad for the fast food chain. Later that year, it won a marketing award for the stunt at the Cannes Lions, the advertising industry's biggest annual event. One jury member even described the commercial as, quote, "...the best abuse of technology." In case you've never encountered one before, the Burger King croissant is basically what it sounds like, a combination of a croissant and a sandwich. It usually contains sausage, bacon, or ham, with eggs and cheese stuffed between a croissant. Despite being an enduring breakfast item for the company, it courted controversy back in 2017, when customers noticed they'd been charged too much for them. Specifically, a Burger King customer named Coletta Anderson, who had purchased a croissant on a two-for-one deal, filed a class-action suit against the company. She alleged that BK had inflated prices on the item for customers who took the deal. Basically, if you bought yourself two croissant with a buy one, get one coupon, you ended up paying more money than you would if you bought one without the coupon, meaning that the company essentially lied about the deal. Anderson herself had been charged $3.19 for two sandwiches under the BOGO deal, but was later charged $2.16 for just the one. The same thing happened at multiple Burger King stores. The dispute went to court, and while the court didn't rule that any party was in the right, Burger King quickly settled and agreed to pay any affected customer $5 or a $2 gift card. 
Here's yet another scandal-ridden advertisement. In this case, controversy swirled around BK's Whopper sacrifice campaign, which offered Facebook users a free Whopper if they delete 10 friends from their Facebook pages. And the kicker was that the app would then message each of those 10 friends, telling them that your friendship to them was worth only one-tenth the price of a hamburger. Which, in fairness, is downright genius. Pure, horrible, evil genius. Interestingly enough, the campaign was hugely successful. It was installed 60,000 times in just a few days. Almost 20,000 coupons were given out, and well over 200,000 people were deleted as friends. As far as ad campaigns went, it couldn't have gone much better. Unfortunately, Facebook then decided to step in. The company disabled the Whopper Sacrifice app, claiming that it was a violation of user privacy because of the message that was sent to each unfriended user. Matt Walsh, head of the Interaction Design Department at the agency that created the ad, later told the crowd at a Web 2.0 Expo event, some people thought it was a little brutal. Yeah, just a little. This next marketing calamity happened in the middle of 2018, when the company began a campaign that offered a free lifetime supply of Whoppers to any Russian women who got pregnant by players in the 2018 World Cup. According to a post from the company's Russian-language Twitter page, the promise included the reward of 3 million rubles, or about $64,000. It would go to the women who got the quote, best football genes, and thereby ensured the future success of the Russian team for generations. Predictably, people got a little upset over this. After a flurry of criticism, which denounced the ad as misogynistic and humiliating, Burger King was forced to issue an apology via a statement that read, We are sorry about the clearly offensive promotion that the team in Russia launched online. The offer does not reflect our brand or our values, and we are taking steps to ensure this type of activity does not happen again. Everyone's heard of a Happy Meal, but how about a real meal? That's what Burger King started hawking in early 2019 as part of its never-ending war against McDonald's. This was part of a mental health awareness campaign that offered a range of real meals, including the Blue Meal, Yas Meal, Piss Meal, Salty Meal, and DGAF Meal. A tie-in video ad used the tagline, No one is happy all the time, and that's okay. While some people gave credit to Burger King for attempting to raise awareness of mental health issues, others were considerably less impressed by the real meals claiming that the company was attempting to profit off the delicate subject. One Twitter user wrote, First, good on Burger King for attempting to start a conversation about mental health, but using mental health awareness as a gimmick to market food and get in a dig at McDonald's seems incredibly unreal. Some mental health experts disagreed, however. Tiffany Huth, director of communications of the Association for Behavioral Health and Wellness, said, This is the way they communicate and talk. You have to speak to people in a way they understand and in a way they feel comfortable and safe, and in a way they can relate to. I do appreciate that they're raising awareness about this. DJ Sakrikar has a PhD in neuroscience from Vanderbilt. He studied mental health. While the Real Mail's campaign might not have been as bad as it first appeared, it's clear that Burger King is still struggling to run a marketing campaign without angering some people. In 2019, a trend spread throughout the United Kingdom and the United States in which protesters and activists would throw milkshakes at certain right-wing figures. In the UK, this happened to both the far-right activist Stephen Yaxley Lennon and Brexit Party leader Nigel Farage. These tactics were already controversial enough without the input of an international burger company, but Burger King decided to wade in nonetheless. After a branch of McDonald's gave in to a police request to stop selling milkshakes and ice cream on the day of a Nigel Farage rally in Edinburgh, Burger King took to Twitter to post, Dear people of Scotland, we're selling milkshakes all weekend. Have fun, love BK. According to the Advertising Standards Authority, 24 people complained about the tweet, arguing that it encouraged violence against political figures. Burger King actually stood its ground this time, insisting that the tweet was intended to be tongue-in-cheek, and posting a follow-up tweet that read, We'd never endorse violence or wasting our delicious milkshakes. Make of that what you will. This last controversy arose in 2019 when Burger King launched its version of the Meatless Impossible Burger, which is a traditional Burger King burger featuring a 0% beef patty. Initially, this may seem pretty admirable, since it represents a sincere attempt by the company to offer a fully meatless imitation meat product, a rarity at most fast food chains until recently. Unfortunately, the company Impossible Foods, which provides the fake meat for these products, and its competitor Beyond Meat quickly came into some serious criticism from a number of different groups. The CEOs of both Whole Foods and Chipotle criticized the companies for making their fake meat too highly processed, while a range of articles by a variety of publications have questioned the potential health impact of their products, as they tend to be too high-calorie, greasy, and not a good everyday eating option. All that controversy, though, was nothing compared to when the public learned that the Impossible Whopper wasn't really fully vegan or even vegetarian, due to the fact that it's cooked on the same grill as real meat. Of course, Burger King never claimed that it was, but that didn't stop the meat-free portion of the public from feeling a bit tricked. And how are you going to prove how much meat byproduct is actually on, on this surface. impossible yeah. burger? Yeah. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about fast food chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.